Hello everybody, this is Lakipi the Wizard Boy, and I have a treat for you. I wrote a backstory, uh, f it's like six page, four, four pages, five pages, something like that, backstory on my Fallout New Vegas character. And I put a nice bit of work into it, and it was a lot of fun, because I love the world of Fallout, so writing a story in it is, is even more fun. And I'm presenting that now with both the story that I wrote and me voicing over it. So I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, uh, like, share, and subscribe. That would be wonderful. So, without further ado, this is the backstory of Sebastian Thompson. Take it away, me. When the bombs dropped, a small town in the middle of Nevada was not touched, but it was still affected by the bombs at the top of Nevada and the effects on Vegas. This town had the classic. People leaving, people looting, people fighting, and people killing. This was not the only thing that happened. Some people actually came together for good. When they came together, a solid collection of leaders stepped in to help. These leaders decided not to fight the grain and ask everybody what their skills were. And from that made groups of people to take care of the tasks that came up in the wasteland. The groups were fixers, cooks, hunters, collectors, medics, technicians, speakers, and defenders. This was the start of a group made for survival. As they collected resources, they realized that the town was running low on goods and supplies. The group as a whole came together and brought everything they had and moved along to different towns, gaining anyone waiting to join and using whatever skills they had for the betterment of the group's survival. This nomadic lifestyle was working for this new formed clan. With more traveling came people wanting to settle down in the locations that they liked, not wanting to keep moving. The clan would come together and make sure that the people leaving would have resources and others to support them. Everything took time with this clan because they were practical and thorough. A comprehensive, nomadic, spreading tribe. This nomadic style continued for the next 200 odd years. The clan would be very small at some points because the wasteland knows how to devour people. Sometimes it would be larger Certain professions would suffer, but the clan still survived. Building up the clan's strength was the main goal, and everything against that clan would be left in the dust or destroyed. This clan was my family, and the only people I knew and cared about I am Sebastian Thompson. From a young age, I wanted to learn as much as I could for the sake of being more useful to my tribe. My mother was a healer, and a damn good one at that, keeping many people that should have died to keep moving. My father was a hunter, putting much food on the tables of everybody involved. 
so it was natural for me to glean traits from both of them. I wanted to learn as much as I could to grow and be more valuable to my clan. My task was Defender because I loved the rush from kicking bandit ass and protecting my people from all sorts of nasty critters. I don't shy away from confrontations. This is one reason why the speakers didn't like me. They always wanted to talk. They wanted to talk their way out of bandit attacks. They wanted to trade with bandits so they wouldn't fight. This pissed me off. Bandits, specifically, just want to cause harm. And someone like that is nothing but trash to me. They are better thrown out. Anyways, our group was coming up on a time to pick up and move on. We decided to move, and I swear to God, the closer we got to the Mojave Wasteland, the more hell we went through. It felt like multiple bandit attacks a day, from vipers and jackals. They were some crazy bastards. Also, don't even get me started on the critters. God, the death claws, the poison of the Cazadors. We had multiple people die, and some suffering major injuries, not being able to move on. It was a mess that our healers didn't seem able to keep up with. The desert was long, and there didn't seem like there could be anything in sight, until we found it, our polished death. Our salvation was among us. We found a wraparound building with multiple attached buildings on the side. And it was three stories. We needed shelter and a place to regroup, so we moved in. The hunters checked the outside, and us defenders went in. Neither group found anything. Maybe some rad roaches, but that's normal. We also didn't find any bodies, whether they were fresh or old. Nothing. No blood. It was just dirty. But what isn't in a post-apocalyptic desert? This place was perfect. Air it out a little, and this could be our sanctuary. While exploring, we found separate rooms with bathrooms attached. A gym, a cafeteria, a kitchen, and rooms for storage. In these rooms, we found sweatshirts, gauze, alcohol solutions, pills, and a collection of other medical supplies. That's it. This place must have been a hospital. With further investigation, we found that it was for the mentally ill. I learned that psychological hospitals were places where people would go when they were having struggles in their mind. They would come here and the people working would keep them safe and get them the help they need. This sounds like something the Wasteland could definitely use. After regrouping, pulling together supplies, and discussing our next steps, our group spread out. Most of us drained from the walking, claimed rooms to get some well-deserved rest. I passed out once my head hit the pillow. Partway through the night, I woke up from the weirdest dream. It was strange. I, I dreamt that the hospital came to life and started to eat us. Fucked up, right? 
I stepped outside to take a brief stroll and drain the lizard. My heart sank when I came back in. Looking around, I didn't see anyone. My friends, my family, they all vanished without a trace. I started yelling for them, but there was no response. Was this the work of an enemy? What could have done this so quickly and quietly? It couldn't have been bandits or a creature that would have made noise. I grabbed my gun, ammo, and gear to begin looking around. I continued to call for people and still no response. I scoured as much as the hospital as I could, as fast as I could, and yet found nothing. I was running as fast as I could until I ran into a wall. But I was running down the hall. How could there be a wall just stuck right there? I wish it was a wall. Then I saw it, barely. But it was there, a face in the darkness. Claws reached out, and my arm was shredded. Even though I couldn't see, I knew my arm was bleeding and bad. I felt the blood rushing down my arm. I fired my gun at the shape, but what I heard was the bullets hit the back wall. I thought I missed. I have shot a lot of rounds, and I don't miss often. Instead, they went through that thing. The air moved, and it only meant one thing. It was swinging again. Pushing back, I tripped on my ass, feeling the claw against my hair. I frantically rode along the ground. All I heard was the sound of radios back home when they didn't work. Static. It only got louder until I was hit with a blast of wind. It was that thing. Is it just static? Stumbling, I got to my feet and flew the hell out of that place as fast as I possibly could. I fought a lot in my life. From bandits, to rat roaches, to death claws, and even a couple super mutants. But when they're hit, they flinch. They ounce in pain. They move. But that thing didn't even flinch. It didn't even move. It didn't even react. It was a whole other monster. Running away, I was struck in the back. I thought this was it. Until I tripped down the stairs, falling out of the hospital. Outside, everything stopped. The wind, the static, and thankfully, the attacks. I laid there trying to breathe, trying to catch my breath, bleeding out of my arm and back. I rolled over, took off my shirt, ripped it in half, and covered my arm and back the best I could. I wasn't a healer. I didn't know what to do. I just laid there. The next thing I knew, it was day. How long has it been? How long have I been out? I looked towards the hospital. It looked as nice as the day we showed up. Is that thing still in there? Is it out during the day? I need to go in and get supplies. If I head into the desert now, I will die. I did the stupidest thing I could and I went back in the hospital. It was quiet and I hated it. I snuck in checking every angle, looked in every room we were in, and examined every shadow. I didn't see anything. 
Even though nothing was around, I was shaking. If that thing came back, I would be dead. I grabbed my gear and got the hell out of that place. While I was walking out, a sign said, you will leave this place with a smile on your face. Fuck that sign. They were gone. Everybody was gone. Supplies were gone. I had only what I carried in. I kept walking and I tell you, though Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. I finally stumbled into a small inhabited town. I sold some of my stuff, bought some other stuff, and kept on living. But I was running out of caps, and if you don't have caps in this wasteland, you ain't getting far. Especially in Vegas. I picked up random jobs from caravanning. I was an armed guard, a bouncer, and finally delivery. I was used to walking, so delivery was right up my alley. I delivered a couple packages, visited multiple places, and spent way too many of my caps on whiskey and buff out. I was dulling the pain in my chest from missing my clan and being alone. This went on for a while. I kept working until the mysterious man in the checkered coat shot me. Well, the rest of my work history is about as helpful as a hole in the head. After being rescued by the helpful souls of Good Springs, I reassessed my goals. I need to return to my prime. I need to grow stronger, and I want to find the man that shot me in the head to learn the whole story. I want to find what happened to my people. At least find people to call my own. Finally, I don't have time for people that are trying to stop my goals or cause problems for others. If you get in my way, you will no longer need to worry about it. If you are in the wrong, I will put you down. I am going to make a difference. I am Sebastian Thompson.